everybody, this is Katie Harn, and I'm here to talk to you about my conures. These are South American parrots that I've had for years, and we absolutely love them. Um, this is Gage. She is a 15-year-old black cat conure, and this is Lucian, who's sliding down, and she is an almost 16-year-old cross between a sun conure and a jende conure. So these are South American parrots. Most parrots are broken up into two classifications, Old World and New World. These would be considered New World parrots. And Lou is more living around Brazil and Bolivia. Gage is more Bolivia, Chile, and Peru. Um, these parrots live anywhere between 25 and 40 years. As I mentioned, Lou is almost 16. She'll be 16 on May 18th. Gage is 15. They are very loud. They are very colorful. They love their toys. Um, they are fully flighted. So if you take a look at Lou's wings, you can see that she has all her wings. She does not like to be touched <laughs> or stretched out, but she is fully intact. We do groom their nails, and we have on occasion groomed their wings as well, but we like to keep them fully flighted so that they can take off if a child gets too close or if the puppy gets too close, although we do try and keep everyone nice and separate. They have a very strict diet. We have different brands of pellets that we purchase online and have shipped here that very closely mimic the nutrients that would be in their diet in the wild. In the wild, they would eat a lot of fruits, they would eat a lot of grubs, but they're very hardy animals. Um, many, people, many people think that it's awful to have parrots in captivity, and it can be if these parrots were caught in the wild and then brought here. It would be really a miserable existence for them, and they wouldn't quite understand. These little guys have had so many generations bred to be companion parrots that it's very similar to, you know, your dog and a wolf. Even though they're rainforest animals, they're terrified of thunderstorms. Their absolute favorite treats are Cheerios, which is how I'm getting them to behave. They don't really like technology, so they're a little bit shy of the camera and the phone because they have an awareness that they're being recorded. Um, while I think that they're amazing pets, we love them, we've had them for life. We got them when they were a few months old and they'll be with us forever. These are definitely not the pets for a novice pet owner because they are extremely loud, they're full of personality, and they are not very good to have in an apartment or in a townhome as their sound does carry. Um, many people uh, many parrots have been with several different owners in their life, and that can be really stressful on the animal as well. There are dozens of books about companion parrots. There are plenty of articles, there's plenty of support on the web, and there is a lot of training videos to try and get them to behave um, and to do tricks and to talk. Lou says about four different phrases. Gage says about three. They like to make kissing noises. They like to make microwave beeps, but they do not like to do anything on command or when you would like to do them or when you would like them to do it. They're very social birds. They love each other. As you can see, they have each their own cages, which are the largest cages that were available when we got them. But then we do have Gage different bar spacing for the birds, um, which is designed to keep them safe so they don't get a foot or their head caught or pinched. We try and let them have a variety of different toys so that they won't become bored. And they also have a large play area out in the living room where they can be with the family. I hope you enjoyed hearing more about our parrots and I hope you have a great day.